What's good, everybody? I'm Justin Miller, owner of Legends of Athletics. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about how to improve your internal rotation. Of course, I got a couple of my bands with me, but internal rotation is what causes us to kind of sometimes get a little slack or a little tightness in our hips in certain areas and make our toes point out in other areas. So you may have seen some people or some athletes walk and they're kind of slew footed like this. And so their toes point out, knees point out, everything kind of goes outward. Well, there's a couple things that we can do to kind of uh, fix this problem or address this problem and see how much we're getting uh, to improve the athlete's coordination and improve their power output and things like that uh, within certain planes of motion. So one thing that we can do is if you have a mini band, uh, which this is a mini band too, it's just a little larger than the ones I have in my bag. You can put a mini band around the athlete's knees. And this is something that I would do for... Um, kind of like younger athletes is very basic and then kind of work and navigate from there the first thing i would do is put the band around the knees and cue the athlete to keep their toes pointed forward and then just do some forward walking pushing through the knees and you can let your whole foot stay on the ground or you can let part of your foot stay on the ground i prefer to keep the whole foot on the ground i'm not necessarily cueing the feet but as you can tell when we pull the knees in, this is going to force us to keep our hips neutral or pull our hips in. And as we uh, neutralize our hips, then automatically everything comes back into line. Your knees come into line and the feet and ankles as well. But let's say you have an athlete and even with this, they're still pointing outwards, right? Well, if you have another mini band, put it around the top of your, of your feet. This is going to force the, the feet in too. So now you got something that's pulling and helping gravity pull everything inward. And when we go down, we have an inability because you have the knees locked in and the feet locked. It's, it's almost next to impossible to turn your toes outward. And by doing this bend, you'll be able to feel your hips moving, your legs through, through motion, and that's giving you the locomotion to move forward. Uh, within the process of changing changing where you are in space. And so those are the two things I would do as far as like if you have bands. Now let's say you're trying to improve this and you're at home and you don't have any bands. Well, then you can just do some internal external rotation, some mobility exercises to help you improve that and we'll do that right here. So I know this might not be the best vantage point, but this is something that you can do if you don't have any bands to help that internal rotation of the hips so that we can bring those toes and things like that back neutral. You'll start here, just kind of lean back, spread your legs a little bit. Watch your legs spread it enough that if you were doing a V sit up, you could come through your legs. So spread your legs there and just allow the hip to relax in. Let gravity do the work. So let that foot fall or that knee fall in as much as possible and then do the other way. First, I will start some ISO holes the longer you hold this, the more you'll kind of feel everything start opening up and eventually correcting itself. And you will feel it whenever you're dropping that hip, you will feel it uh, in your rear glute, a little bit under that glute fold uh, where it's kind of working that muscle. And so those are two things that I would do um, to improve my internal hip rotation. Um, and as far as athletics goes, this is just something that you see coming with athletes. And so... Um, it can help many athletes out there. Uh, with having better hip mobility, you're, you're able to, to move laterally more efficiently, and you're able to really speed train and get those speed gains by correcting those movement patterns and things like that. And we also just want to continue those movement patterns because um, the brain signals, so we're training our central nervous system, and as we get better with signaling in that in our brain, then we get better overall in athletics. And so if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be legendary.